Metabolic integration and organ specialization. The brain. The brain has two remarkable metabolic features. First, it has a very high respiratory metabolism. In resting adult humans, 20% of the oxygen consumed is used by the brain, even though it constitutes only 2% or so of the body mass. Interestingly, this level of oxygen consumption is independent of mental activity, continuing even during sleep. Second, the brain is an organ with no significant fuel reserves, no glycogen, usable protein, or fat. Normally, the brain uses only glucose as a fuel and is totally dependent on the blood for a continuous incoming supply. Interruption of glucose supply for even a brief period of time, as in a stroke, can lead to irreversible losses in brain function. The brain uses glucose to carry out ATP synthesis via cellular respiration. High rates of ATP production are necessary to power the plasma membrane, sodium potassium ATPase, so that the membrane potential essential for transmission of nerve impulses is maintained. During prolonged fasting or starvation, the body's glycogen reserves are depleted. Under such conditions, the brain adapts to use beta-hydroxybutyrate as a source of fuel converting it to acetyl-CoA for energy production via the citric acid cycle. Beta-hydroxybutyrate is formed from fatty acids in the liver. Although the brain cannot use free fatty acids or lipids directly from the blood as fuel, the conversion of these substances to beta-hydroxybutyrate in the liver allows the brain to use body fat as a source of energy. The brain's other potential source for, of fuel during starvation is glucose obtained from gluconeogenesis in the liver. Using the carbon skeletons of amino acids derived from muscle protein breakdown, the ability of the brain to use beta-hydroxybutyrate from fat spares protein from degradation until lipid reserves are exhausted. And that's metabolic integration and organ specialization, the brain. Have a great day.